Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on QL of a planar graph. In the previous videos, we are already solved two example problems. Now in this video, we have to solve another example problem on QL of planar graph. Okay, now this is the given planar graph. Okay, now for that graph, we have to draw the G star. G star is nothing but dual of planar graph G. Okay. The first point is how many number of regions are there? Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 regions are there. So the number of regions in planar graph G corresponds to the number of vertices in G star. Okay, so now F1 corresponding point is P1, F2 corresponding point is a P2, F3 corresponding point is a P3, F4 corresponding point is a P4, F5 corresponding point is a P5, F6 corresponding point is P6. Okay. So, how many number of vertices are there in uh, G star? So, 6 vertices are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. The number of vertices in G star corresponding to the number of faces uh, or regions in the given planar graph G. The total number of regions are there is equal to 6. So, the total number of vertices present in G star is 6. So, the total number of regions present in the given planar graph G corresponding to the number of vertices in uh, dual planar graph G star. Okay. Now, this is the dual planar graph G star for the given graph G. Now, so... How to draw the line between these two points? So, suppose if two regions are adjacent, that means these two regions are separated by using a common edge, then we have to draw the line between P1 and P2 for intersecting the common edge between the regions F1 and F2. Suppose here F1 and F2 are there. So, these two regions are separated by using this edge. Okay. Now, we have to draw the line between the corresponding points. F1 corresponding points P1. F2 corresponding point is P2. Now, we have to draw the line between the corresponding points P1 and P2 that intersects the common edge between uh, F1 and F2. That intersects the common edge between F1 and F2. Okay. Now, F2 and F3 are adjacent regions. They are connected by using a common edge. Okay. So, now F2 and F3 are connected by using the corresponding points that intersects this edge. F2 corresponding point is P2. F3 corresponding point is P3. Now we have to draw the line between P2 and P3 that intersects the common edge between F2 and F3 regions. Okay. Now, so F3 and F4 are adjacent regions. They are separated by using this common edge. Now we have to draw the line between the corresponding points P3 and P4 that intersects the common edge between F3 and F4 regions. So, we have to draw the common edge between uh, P3 and P4. That intersects the common edge between F3 and F4 regions. Okay. Now, here F1 and F4 are adjacent. F1 and F4 are adjacent. They are connected by using a common edge. Okay. So, then 
f1 corresponding point is p1 f4 corresponding point is p4 now we have to draw the line between p1 and p4 points that intersects the common edge between f1 and f4 regions okay so now so f6 f6 is the outer region okay it is adjacent to f1 it is adjacent to f4 it is adjacent to f6 and it is adjacent to f2 okay suppose f6 is there at this place and this place and this place and this place and this place okay this is the outer region okay so f1 and f6 f1 and f6 are adjacent they are separated by using the common edge now we have to draw the line between the corresponding points that intersects the edge between f1 and f6 region f1 corresponding point is p1 f6 corresponding point is p6 now we have to draw the line between p1 and p6 that intersects the common edge between f1 and f6 okay now next now consider the f2 and f6 regions these two regions are separated by two common edges this is one edge and this is another edge now we are taking this edge okay so these two regions are separated by this common edge okay now the corresponding points f2 corresponding point is p2 f6 corresponding point is p6 so we have to draw the line between p2 and p6 that intersects the edge between region f2 and region f6 okay now now consider this edge so region f2 and f6 are separated by using uh, this common edge now we have to draw the line between the corresponding point p2 and p6 by intersecting the edge between f2 and f6 regions so now we have to draw the edge between p2 and p6 that intersects the edge between f2 and f6 regions okay so now so f5 and f6 f6 is the boundary region okay so region f5 and f6 are separated by using this common edge okay now we have to draw the line between p5 and p6 f5 corresponding is p5 f6 corresponding is p6 we have to draw the line between p5 and p6 that intersects the common edge between f5 and f6 okay now so this is also a boundary region f6 so now f4 and f6 are adjacent regions these two regions are separated by using the common edge now we have to draw the line between f4 corresponding point is p4 f6 corresponding point is p6 we have to draw the line between p4 and p6 p4 and p6 uh, that intersects the com edge between f4 and f6 regions okay next one now now consider this edge this edge is called as pendant edge okay only uh, only this is, this edge is called as pendant edge any region completely contains a single edge any region completely contains a single edge okay then we have to draw the self loop at the corresponding uh, vertices that intersects this edge now consider this point for any edge e lying entirely in one region this edge lie in the entire region 
f1 okay draw a self loop at pk so f1 corresponding vertices is p1 draw a self loop at point p1 p1 that intersect this edge that intersect this edge exactly once now we have to draw the self loop this self loop inter intersects this pendant edge only once okay so we can draw the self loop that intersects the pendant edge exactly once so f1 contains a single edge entirely in this region f1 then at that time this edge is called as pendant edge so for this pendant edge we have to draw the self loop at vertex corresponding to f1 that is p1 that intersects this pendant edge exactly once okay so now we are getting this dual planar graph this is the dual planar graph okay for this graph g okay so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so develop srinivasarao